Wow. Okay, so we're recording this now? Yep, we're recording it, so... All right. This is, uh... Okay, this is your channel, so... Okay, this is our little MST3K for uh, Dark Seed. This is my long play, however. So, yeah, we're recording this right now. Yeah, we're doing a commentary of sorts, even though I had nothing to do with this particular yeah. video. Yeah, but Wilku did mention that he has, like, an HR uh, Geiger... A uh, uh, little. Uh, toy. It, it looks like it, it looks like something that's that's from HR that that was destroyed. Whoa. That's designed by HR Geiger. Yeah. Whoa. How do you think of the dark world here? Like the big jack lantern I had in the corner, and now it goes to the light world. So personally, I think Night Trap was better. Oh uh, man. Actually, no. So okay. uh, this was made in 1992, which was kind of like the booming huh. year. For uh, for like uh, point and click adventure games, which is one of my favorite genres, we had one Dark... of my least favorite genres. Yeah. We had Dark Seed, King's Quest Six to Eris Human, which is considered the best Sierra game, and Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. So although there was like Secret of Monkey Island and uh, like those text adventure games on the Commodore before, this is really when graphical adventure games where you point and click stuff and do um, certain things to move on to the next one came in. And here's Dark Seed. What do you think what of his... What the fuck is that? What do you think of his mustache? Yeah. Freddie Mercury is getting a lobotomy. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's just getting a creepy HR Geiger fetus inside of him. So, how many innuendos do you think we can make out of this? Oh, God. After a horrifying nightmare, Mike Dawson... And actually, Mike Dawson... What a terrible night to have a curse. <laughs> and Mike Dawson is actually... And apparently has trouble getting pajamas. So he just sleeps with his uh, clothes yeah. on. So let's go to the bathroom. So that's enough. That's enough. This. Enough. This. And he does. And he even. He doesn't even take his clothes. He off. He is Freddie Mercury. He even takes his clothes off when taking a shower. And now we go to the it mirror. Is, dude, dude, a, a, a true riff is just like watching things over that. Don't just give like the play by play. Yeah. Okay. One last thing I'm gonna say really is that it took forever to make sure no light reflected in my computer screen. This was in my dad's office actually. So why don't you just why didn't you just screen cap this? Cause it only lasted fifteen minutes long, and I just want to do one uh, thing. Get a screen cap program. I do, and it's only fifteen minutes long. I want to get this in one file. I was kind of wow. I kind of procrastinated made it sadly. So what do you think of this guy's house? It's nice, I guess. Uh, oh look, two globes because one globe was not enough. Is one a Cybertron or something? I don't know, one Cybertron. Maybe he... Oh my god, one's like... Uh, let me guess. One's, one's the, the light world and one's the dark world. No, actually, they they look the same. One would actually, I don't know, be dark. And don't you just hate it when you go through your bookcase and you discover a secret passage? Isn't that well, just... last time I did that, I found I found hookers and blackjack, so... Ah. Uh, and then, and then you just come across a rope. Huh. I mean, last time I... Actually, the last time I found a... a I, uh, I found a portal to Equestria when I looked through my book yeah. and then you discover a secret entrance i don't know why there's just something creepy about having a door that leads to darkness right next to your bed go, up go the to sleep <laughs> climb up the ladder and here you have actually a very well detailed house but michael dawson here is obviously rotoscoped and he is actually the game designer rotoscoped uh, no, 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 no. It kind of no, looks rotoscope, is... except it was like this the... is this is digitized actors yeah digitized actors but it's but... like with mortal kombat but look at him, doesn't he, like, have some animation? And look, you're supposed no, no, to you're supposed to pick up that watch, which is, like, two pixels wide. And you can actually tell the time. By the way, you have only three days. <sighs> you have only three days to... Oh, kind of like in uh, in Majora's Mask, a good video game. I've never played Majora's Mask. Yeah. There, is, there is no I giant... Good, there is no giant with a face. However... That's no moon. That's Mike Dawson's mullet. That's a glorious Also... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Remember when you climbed down your house with a rope tied to a gargoyle? Remember the yeah, last. That's an ugly car. Remember when you did that? Well, it's broken down. This it's must so be. Ugly. This must be dirt. Also, here's a meme. The battery still works. The battery still works. Mike Dawson. His life is not complete until he finds out the battery works. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Follow my nose. No, that was a. It was Follow a, your nose. a Zelda reference. I know. Follow your You're nose. I don't know. Follow your nose to the dark world. By the way, you know what? No one can see you, right? No one can see me. This is just all audio, right? This is all audio. Yes. I just took your hat because you were being a baka. Yeah. Mike Dawson. <laughs> yeah. Mike... And don't make the star scream joke, or I swear to Primus I will hit you. <laughs> okay. No, seriously, I have to say it. Just don't argue. Just let it happen. Okay. Remember, Will Koo. This is Mike Dawson. 
not Michael Dobson. So no, you are going to be seeing no Armada Starscreams in this video. I haven't seen Armada Starscream since I was 10. Although, what about that video clip I sent you kept dying? Oh, look, the doorbell's ringing. I don't think and I you really know what's in, that. You want to uh, know what's in this package? You know how you like to collect action figures? Yeah. Well, do you want to collect this action oh, figure? Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. No, that is like a... That is a... That is... One creepy baby doll. You think it's creepy now? That makes talky Tina. We'll check it out. We'll check it out now. Okay, wait for it. You want to collect that? Yes. <laughs> Big that pile is badass. of organs. Organs, badass steampunk. Actually, his house looks like something out of Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet is a mess. And, you know, I'm just totally unaffected by that big pile of organs that arrived at my doorstep. You know, nothing too bad. Especially when you're Mike Dawson. Who is the game designer, actually? They just put him, they put him in this game because I guess we ran out. We just didn't think of a main character. We thought about the entire game, but we just couldn't make it. Into, we just couldn't figure out a main character. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about Mike Dawson? I do you, don't. Do you give a shit, I... shit about him now? The watchful I climb by my night, and yeah, I kind of drag this out. Yeah, I have no clue what any what's going on here, and I don't care. He just got a bunch of puzzles, and he's in his new house. This is. And I don't, I don't want it to be like explained to me, okay? Okay. Well, it, somebody's just going off. I, somebody just got murdered, apparently. Somebody got murdered, which we never see. And guess what? It's never mentioned again. You're pretty much doing all the talking. It's never mentioned again. Let okay, do this joke. It's never mentioned again. It comes out of nowhere. That's only for musical numbers. Musical numbers, really? Yeah. Okay. Nice store. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> yeah, you're my best customer. Oh, hi. Serve yeah. yourself, Mr. Dawson. Like his voice? By the way, the only thing you can buy in the store oh, is... Oh, hi, Mr. Oh, Dawson. Boy, Dilbert's gonna be mad. You could tell... Dilbert? Them. Yeah. You mean there, here's Dilbert. Took... Okay. I'm a lawyer by trade. Already I'm dreading I this. Take one of my cards. <laughs> you like the you like Dilbert's voice, huh? You're just torturing me because I made you watch Aki Valley on, aren't you? Oh no, this isn't the torture. This is actually a fun game if you can uh, like just like Yeah, but it's not fun to watch it. Actually in nineteen ninety two this was like the best looking thing you could try. And this is the floppy disk version. What he fucking do? And the only woman in the library, which is probably the best place you could go to in this game. An extremely beautiful woman. She doesn't hey, seem... Hey, it's Twilight! She doesn't seem to notice you stand staring at her. <laughs> she doesn't notice you staring her at her. Durr, this game's... Ugh! Really ah! Ah! What the fuck? I have such a good lip. That only half of Dude, it works. Dude, and you complained about the animation in Inhumanoids. Okay, so we gotta get a book that apparently was on the library card that the former owner of the mansion stuck in yes, there. Yes, we have to find the book that tells us about the elements of harmony. That's it. We must find the elements of harmony. Only H.R. Geiger can be defeated with the elements of harmony. So yeah, this guy apparently got fucked over by some ancients. Do you know who the ancients are by any chance? The Inhumanoids? The Inhumanoids. Actually, what do you think this character, Mike Dawson, the complex protagonist as he is, has a chance against the Inhumanoids? Probably not. And I'm really not going to be listening to this for a while. Tell me tell me if there's dialogue, I'll listen. There is always dialogue. In the CD version, there's always dialogue. Mike Dawson never shuts up in the CD version. Yeah, but this is the floppy disk version, so it's kind of quiet. So we found this book because if I wanted some owner to get a message, I would put it in a library in a book nobody can reach. Unless they have a library card. This is like The Shining, except Mike Dawson's stupid. He never bothers to note that the, uh... Yeah, this does seem like something Stephen King would write. Stephen King. Where are the Tommyknockers? Mike Dawson does not act over... I will punch you in the head. Mike Dawson does not over... I'll give you back your hat when you... Stop acting like a noob. Mike Dawson, however, does not overact. So he never says, Scaring the little girl? Then we're going to go to the graveyard, because you know how many people go to the graveyard after the store. Uh, this 
seconds. You know what I'd rather be watching right now? What? Acubalion. <laughs> you already- Okay, there's already a worse thing in this world than Acubalion. No, I'm just trying to tell you that I'm fucking bored. You're bored by this already? Don't you love this game? This no. It's a great game. Does it look great? No. <laughs> by the way, I swear, this, in the CD version, this music is the creepiest thing ever. Right now, it's like... Meh, meh. You're not up on your Egyptian. Well, what do I expect from Mike Dawson? It's like Ed Wood. This is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. No, it's more like the TARDIS. So now we're going to investigate the ashes of the previous owner. We find a clock key. Why? Because it's in the ashes. So there's his house. A peaceful place to meditate. Not that you have the time. Why? You, you can never go to work in this game. You might as well. This is not funny. Roku, when's the last time you went on top of a mausoleum and you meditated? Oh, meditated! Okay, I, I had to think about that for a sec. Uh, I, I thought you meant something else. Uh, no, just like... <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, nah, it's like... Uh, so, I don't... I, I don't know. It seems like something boring. Isn't this a fun game? I wouldn't know! I'm not playing it! Yeah, you're you know showing me playing. video from your friggin' vid from your friggin' let's play. Well, that's how. Well, guess what? You're living MST3K. Who are you in this case? Tom Servo, Crow, or Gypsy? How do you just riff on this fucker and just get it over with? How long is this? Uh, we got like. You're in actually. The hey, uh, we're. All... I think we're almost a third done. You know how long you. Well, what a day I've had. I went to the cemetery and I picked a clock key out of the ashes. What Go to day. the fucking dark world already. No, we're gonna get. Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. This Unless... sucks. Unless it's clop fiction. Lord. Unless it's clop fiction, don't go there, Mike Dawson. What do you think of Mike Dawson? If it is clop fiction, don't go. Don't go. Hide. Hide as far as like. So then you got the crowbar you got from your car and you open the chest. No, it's like me when I was trying to find my missing armada figures. Although Mike Dawson actually finds something this time. Bullshit. Who are the ancients? Why do they want me so badly to come to our world? Well, because you can get them on the air for more than one season. Don't make me kick uh, your ass. Uh, I'm actually... I know that was a rip on Inhumanoids. Uh, oh my god. I know, actually, that this is, like, I drag this stuff out, but guess who's playing this game? You? Yeah, so I have nobody to blame for this but myself. If I... No, seriously, if there was trial and error, it'd be interesting. Apparently, you've played this game about two billion times, and you know where all the secrets are. Yeah, actually, you know what? I did not figure this out myself. Do you think a kid in 1992 is going to have any idea what to do in these point-and-click adventures? Who? A kid in 1992. Oh. Like... If you were just born, if this was the first game you got, would you ever play any other video game? No. Well, maybe. I mean, seriously, all my friends have, like, Mario and Sonic, but I have this piece of fucking shit. <laughs> this is lame. Hell, you've got a guy with a mullet and a porno mustache. How can you not love that? Because I don't like playing as Freddie Mercury in my video games, okay? He only wears one pair of clothes the entire time. Isn't that just so rebellious? So does Homer Simpson. What do you think of this girl? We're back. Nah! She's fucking hideous! <laughs> Here's the book that was put on hold for you. <laughs> it's like un unholy. Okay, we're, this is your first shot of the Dark World besides that baby. So we're reading about... What am I looking at? We're looking at a book. Don't you just love reading in video games? No. Reading long dialogue. Isn't this the best game ever? Okay, here's the Dark World. Tune in to the right station for a dependable word from a concerned friend. Don't you just hate when your books do that? They just go to a fucked up H.R. Geiger world. <sighs> well, seriously, you're just being kind of a... Yeah, whatever. So... So yeah, sorry if this... Is falling out throughout the entire long play. Do, 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 do. 
I'm gonna fly high as Mark Dawson. The road sure seems high. the road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. Huh. Good one, Mike. Mike Dawson, the true poet. So what have I Someone please throw him off a building. <laughs> so what have I And I don't mean the character. I don't know, would you like to throw us both? If you had to cho choose between me or Mike Dawson living, where do you think he is right now, Mike Dawson? Hmm? Where do you think Mike Dawson is right now? In his fucking house. No, 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 I mean, like, after this game was made, where do you think he went? I think he's probably in an insane asylum, and <laughs> possibly dead because he fucking killed himself because of how fucking crazy this shit was. Okay, so they What's lost- What's a paladin? So they right. lost a shard of the mirror. And, hey, there's actually an HR Geiger portrait there. That's kind of clever. Also, if you investigate, uh... Also, look at that. Look what it says for that picture. A picture that's very alien to you. Get it? <laughs> Not funny! <laughs> Not funny at all? Not funny at all. What do you think of our protagonist? Don't you just love our protagonist? Dedicated to John uh, McKeeger for 25 years of loyal service. They must have been talking about how many people had to stand this game being made. Is that a Super Nintendo cartridge? No, that's money. Oh. The, oh, that was a floppy disk. You go there to save the game. Oh. Actually, if you click on that floppy disk, you get the freakiest thing in the world. What? You get... Sorry if I'm, like, if I'm, like, yawning or something. Oh, I, God. I, I don't blame like, you. I don't blame I you, I had no actually. sleep last it's, night. It's, yeah, it's funnier. It's actually better playing the game than just watching it. And so, we're gonna go to purpose. sleep. Have you noticed that it's never nighttime? And I'm just gonna go to sleep in my clothes. I don't have pajamas. Oh, by the way. Some people don't. Some people... Hell, some people sleep in the nude. This is Hello, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> He's looking into the mirror, by the way, and it's still daytime! What the fuck? The Stay for night. Whoa! Whoa, what am I on? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! Maybe yeah, he had... he's smoking a bowl. Maybe he's maybe he inhaled the ashes from the clock. So now, okay, who wants to take a shower with clothes on? Never. So I'm just gonna clean myself up. Sometimes you disturb me. Now I'm gonna take my medicine. My head is killing me, by the way. My my head feels like it's going to explode. Foreshadowing! Foreshadowing. Actually, if you don't complete the game, it's not like his head explodes. It's more like a piece of shit comes out of his mouth. A piece of shit alien. Uh, HR gag. I believe that is a shit pickle. Shit pickle. Okay, so now I think you just... By the way, one frustrating thing, if you don't do everything right on the first day that the game wants you to, you can't get the package and you'll die in three days. Ah. So you have to go through everything. Yet again. Like freaking Majora's Mask. Oh, if you don't do everything right, you die? Yeah, in Majora's Mask, you have to you have to find all the masks. Yeah, There's like a, a spell you can cast to, to go back. But Is there a time like... limit? Yeah, there's a timeline. Like, all within three days, you're supposed to discover another dimension. And don't alert... And actually, don't alert anybody. Just find the dimension. Actually, I take it back. There's a twist. During, like, during, I think, the second day, the police in your world are controlled by the dark... Are, by the dark beings. I gotta make sure this thing's open for my trip to the dark world. It's the dark world. You getting ready for it? I've seen it before on another video. I'm sure I'm ready for it. You like this music? No. It's giving me a fucking headache. All right. Maybe I should go to buy. Yes, happy go lucky random Wilku is actually fairly bitter most of the time, especially when I haven't had sleep. Okay, I just gotta wait here for a package. Gotta go back up. Quit talking about your package, okay? Wee! Heard enough about your package. Wee! Go back up and down the stairs. So I'm just gonna wait here since I don't have anything to do. By the way, I, I have to cut here. The doorbell's ringing. Who do you think it is? Primus? No, it's a, it's the guy. It's the same guy. It's like a police officer. It's the exact same guy. UPS, we bring you cryptic shit. 
Bert picked this up broken shard. Why is it shaped yeah. just like Israel? You know what's funny? What? Man, Amazon keeps sending me weird shit. Oh. Oh, Amazon. Did you, you saw the new South Park episode, didn't you? No, I didn't actually. Oh, you put the mirror in. I haven't in. seen South Park in a long time. And Mike is totally unaffected by the fact that this mirror glows with its own energy. Wait, what happened? You just, you put... what, what happened in South Park? Oh, just seen the episode, but trust me, it ends. Really. I, I, I don't give a shit about South Park anymore. Just... Okay, you ready for the Dark World? Um... Huh! It looks like the inside of my psyche. Nah. I'm totally unaffected by this. You actually, know... you know what? This does not affect me. But, you know what? Actually, no, wait, I'm wrong. My psyche has far more pelical ponies. By the way, this is where everybody who disobeys the ancients goes. Here's Geigerard for ya. Hey, Ancients! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> ancients, these nuts. Let's get back to bashing butts as well as these nuts. By the way, here's the twist. There is something in Mike Dawson's head, but it's not intelligence, it's a fetus. Yeah, it's kind of like the school nurse from South Park. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. It says Wokes Dawson. No, I said for you to pick Mike Dawson's twin brother, not Mike Dawson. So you go through this teleporter. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Sharp cold wind runs through your bones. A low human emanates. Oh look, somebody just left a pair of binoculars in the middle of the place. Why? Because you have to Where solve Where are puzzles. you, Cybertron? Actually, this is like Cybertron if you got high. Doesn't look like the place to find for a picnic. Would you go to a picnic in this place? Oh yes. You would love to go to a picnic here. Would you rather? So, what do you think is actually more unpleasant, the light world or the dark world? The normal world or the dark world? Which do you think is more fucked up? The normal world. Normal world, huh? So you pull this lever and that activates the front door. Oh, there's a life force. Come on, Mike Dawson, touch it, touch it. Die, die. Come on. Ugh. Well, you're the one who's playing it, so you already know. But... Uh, I regret, I regret myself. There are ways to die, though it's not as many as you expect. There's like nobody here. There sucks. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the douchiest of them all? It's either Mike Dawson or the guy controlling Mike Dawson. What's saying Mike Dawson? No, seriously, when you get to Dark Seed 2, yes, this game was popular enough to warrant a sequel. It'll be great. By the way, you want to know the point of going in here first? What? You see that shovel? That's yeah. the only place you can get a shovel. You can't go to the store and buy a shovel. You have to pick it up from another dimension. Well, it's a, it's a special shovel from another dimension. It's a special other dimension shovel. Repeat to yourself, it's just a show, I should really just relax. Repeat to yourself, it's just a shovel, I should really just relax. Yeah, this, 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 there's a lot of so shoveling jokes that I can make from that. But you're too good for that. Not really, no. No, you're below that, so you can't even say them. Like, it varies. Well, this ho well, this house in the dark world is better than my house in the light world. Better crash here for the night. This game sucks. Hey guys, guess what? I saw the craziest shit ever. <laughs> Why is it still day? What do you know? Haven't you ever heard of suspension of disbelief? I haven't seen Edward. I want to see Edward, but I have not seen it. So we're gonna go to the graveyard. You want to go back to the graveyard? Doesn't that sound like fun? I'm getting my steampunk gun right now. <laughs> I mean, alchemist gun. There's a cemetery. Mike Dawson, I think every time you go to the cemetery, you see a reflection of yourself. Bury him. What? Uh. By the way, the sequel actually, although it's much, much longer, really long, you'll actually get some more jokes out of it because there's always talking and nobody acts like they should. This game is boring. Why'd you make me do this? Well, why'd you make me watch Hacky Ballinger? Because it was for the greater good. I wanted people to know about it. Well, this so is the great good. This will make you appreciate Aki Balion. Okay, so you're gonna dig up the shovel. 
You work 18 hours, and what do you get? Dummy slap. <laughs> okay, now you get the other half of the shovel. You know, this owner really has some weird habit of placing random pieces of information across town. Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, he's kind of kind of a weirdo. Half to himself, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> and we always look at him and they then say, like, what is he doing with that cryptic information? He's just hiding it places. What is he, friggin' Takora? Yes. He comes to town every so often and <laughs> digs at the ground. <laughs> and he, like, lurks around the stores. And he eats hay. Pinky, you eat hay. I eat hay. But it's an evil way that he eats hay. Actually, the only evil, actually... She's oh, yeah. an evil enchantress. She does evil dances. You look into her eyes. She puts you in trances. What would she do? <laughs> she could have an evil brew. And she'll gobble you up in a big taste of stew. So, watch out! No, no, you, do, you need to do the Mike Dawson version of it. He's an evil boy. <laughs> He's an evil porno star. He has a bad mullet. By the way, Wait, the, don't... check this out. The policeman. This is great. You're under arrest, Dawson. Come with me. Yay! Oh. Yay, he's in jail! Can you stop? That, that actually hurt my head. So let's, a lot. so let's spend the rest of the day here. This is better than my house. By the way, the puzzle that happens here is that... Once... Seriously, what is this? The soundtrack to Tron? It sounds like the theme to Tron. Da, 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 da. And please tell me you. Da, da, da. Please tell me you've seen Tron. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw Tron. It's just been a long time. But why would I be watching Tron when I when I could be playing this? Because it's enjoyable. You're telling me this is enjoyable? Solving a puzzle where you have to put all your necessary items in a pillow. By the way, after this is the sleep. God, I thought I was tired just from having lack of sleep. I'm dead. I'm, I'm about three seconds from falling asleep. It's so fucking boring. How's it boring? Look at... It's a guy with a porno mustache so, it's like, and a mullet. So? And, he wears the same, and he wears the same clothes all the time. I watch movies from the 80s all the time. That's pretty much all I see. Guys with porno stashes and and mullets. In fact, I compared them from, I compared him to Freddie Mercury from Queen. So, what do you think about So, we're gonna call for it. Oh, by the way, this is the most... You have to watch this. This is the most genius way to get out of jail ever. This is all. Are you gonna do Mason? No. A friend of Joe. He just gives him a card. A get out of jail free card. And he lets him go. I am not joking. And he takes the gun! Look at that. He just takes the gun away and nobody's there. And he just walks out with a police gun. <laughs> this makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Point and click adventures piss me off. Oh, they're much they're better ones than this. There's King's Quest Six and there's Indiana Jones and the Faith of Atlantis. Don't you just love it when you live in a world where some random Joe Schmo can just take your gun? No. In fact I hate this. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this! <laughs> I never thought I could break Will. He broke me with Aki Balion. But... Oh, no, no, no. You're far. You're, you're very far from breaking. It's just that I'm bored. Oh, so I had a cut here. You know how long you have to wait for Dilbert to show up by the time you do everything? Yeah. Like 15 minutes. Holy fuck. <laughs> would you actually follow a guy that had a voice like that? Oh, fuck yes, I would. Why? By the way, all you do here is play... You don't talk to him, actually. You just give him the scotch. Booze! All you need is booze! Alcohol! The cause and solution to all of life's problems. Forming scotch. You see Dilbert. Not much to look at. And he just drinks the whole thing. Save some for me, you prick. And it's empty. He spent a whole four minutes with him. Wow, he sounds like someone drinks a lot of scotch. 
And now we have to pick up the stick, because you cannot possibly get a stick in a place that's full of trees. You only you can only get wait, stick. Wait, wait. From you know what? I'm gonna next next I'm gonna make you do a let's play of Story of the Blanks. Oh, Story of the Blanks is at least I don't know, good. I know, but So we're going back to the house. So what have I done to stop this fetus in my brain? Oh, that's right, nothing. You even know there's a fetus in his brain? Actually no, that was stupid. Why is he totally unaffected by this dark world? Does he tell to anybody, holy shit, I've gone to H.R. Geiger's wet dream? Okay, back to the dark world. Back to your better, back to the better place. Yes, this is the realm in which H.R. Geiger faps to. <laughs> and then there was much clopping. No, no. This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. Oh, I think the same people. Hey, I think the same thing went for Akibalion. By the way, you can't. You're not supposed to use the Dark World stick on the dog, on this hideous dog. You're supposed to use it on the pit. Go fetch. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, not the dog. He was my favorite character. By the way, things start to get good. Go into the police station and see what happens. Wait, that's the... That's a Dark World police station. Check this out. Ah! Hey, it's Robocop. That's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. This isn't like the other version, cops. We actually care if people steal our firearms. Uh, oh, God. Uh... So we use the bobby mm. pin here. Uh... So what do you think Are about- we almost done? Actually, this is only the second day. We've got one more day to get through. Hey, check it out. It's you. I will admit, this is the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> Seriously! This is better than in humanoids? Oh, uh, yep. Well, look at it. It's a rejected humanoid. Look at that. It's obviously a rejected humanoid. In humanoid. In humanoid, whatever. You gotta use the bobby pin and he escapes. Now I'm invisible. Hey, Wilku, guess what? I can turn invisible. Guess what? Something fun may happen. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. I'm so glad the world rests in the fate of him. Ah! Don't you love that sound effect? No. Ah, what's going on? The pinky and the brain. Just pinky and the brain. One, One has a mullet. The other's insane. By the way, this is the creepiest thing. This is actually where it starts to get really creepy. You're invisible. It looks like he got damaged in a video game. My god, it's David Bowie! Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages. No, it's even worse. It's seven and nine. Did it just fucking cry? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you want to check it out again? No. Uh, okay, I, seriously, this, this can give you nightmares. Not really. It cried. And it, its eyes flashed. Mike Dawson, this is the only woman you're ever going to be with. So that was like the Keeper of the Scrolls, I think. The Keeper of the Scrolls? Yeah, they actually call it the Keeper of the Scrolls. So it's a secret invasion? Yup. So what you got is a film card. Thank you very much, Keeper of the Scrolls. I don't actually need a weapon or something or like a lobotomy to get this thing on my head. No, I need a little millimeter of film. Isn't that awesome? What? That you got a millimeter of film to save the world. So? By the way, this leads to a fairly stupid puzzle. Well, stu mm. a stupider, a stupider puzzle. I command you to look at this, Will. Will Koo. Uh, so, going back to Jesus, the Pat. So, back to the life world. I don't see much difference. <laughs> this is obnoxious music, and I'm an obnoxious person that I'm working with here. Why, Mike Dawson? How can you not? How can you not view Mike Dawson as one of the great heroes of of American culture? I was talking about you. Oh. And we're gonna go back to bed without bike pajamas. Maybe I should actually spend my money on something other than scotch. Nah. Okay. 
Oh look, it's the it's the it's it's baby face from Toy Story. Toy Story three? No, Toy Story no, Toy oh. Story one. Oh yeah, and then it turns out ah! the, the spider melting flesh and then skull. Oh yeah. He composed. <laughs> and it turns out that HR Geiger created decompose. So we killed Mike Dawson. Yay! 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 Mike Dawson's dead. Oh no, wait, it was just a dream. And it was. Do you get it? Nope. Everyone else who. Mike just OD. Everyone else who watches this is gonna is gonna know who what that joke is, and they're gonna freaking tear you. Mike Dawson, please. We're not getting. Just. For not getting what I was referencing. Maybe, actually, what if the twist... That it's the, all just a dream. What if the twist is that, like, he actually hasn't been doing anything since, like, um... You're a Brittle Floss fan! How do you not know that joke? Shut, shut up. Maybe, how about the twist actually is that, in the end, every time he goes over to take that medicine, he's been taking the wrong medication. So everything that happens throughout the rest of the day is just a hallucination. Like, even now, he's still at the, uh, sink... He's at the sink on his first day. Giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> uh, okay, gotta go back to the store. Hey, dude, I could tell you about this another alien dimension, but nope, I'm just gonna buy some more scotch. Why doesn't he tell anyone? Because he's because he's Mike Dawson. Is there a reason why you ha can't tell anyone? Or is it... No, you're just gonna buy scotch. You can't tell other people or anything why? Nope. Actually, no. He's afraid because, remember, the Keeper of the Scrolls told him that basically the police are under control of the douchebag aliens. So oh no, they're running run by the situation. Hey, Yo! Hey. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk to Librarian again? No. Do you, do you support Mike Dawson, ex-Librarian? I would like to throw both of them into a wood chipper. <laughs> okay, so actually the film turns out it was a message. And this relates to the wine cellar. It basically tells you that there are bricks that are loose in cellars that you can pull Ooh. out. If you hollow out a brick, you can put stuff in there. Then you can put it back into the floor. Hey, well, look, it's Ryan, like, so Ryan like... Ketchum. Check it out. It's Ryan Ketchum. Right. You know who this means? It's the brother of Ash father Ketchum. Of Ash, or maybe the father of Ash Maybe the Ketchum. father of Ash Ketchum. But what I was about to say was, like, uh, yeah, but if you're low on funds, there's always, like, a couple 50s in it. There's always a couple 50s in Green Lantern's ad. <laughs> yes. Big Bang Theory joke. We are that low. I haven't, I haven't seen the Big Bang, Big Bang Theory in a while. Yeah, that's, like, early. I know. So, I learned so much today, didn't I? Another jump cut! Um... Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. So... Exhausting. What do you think about this game so far? Bullshit, and I hope, I hope every copy is destroyed. <laughs> you wanna create, like, a Shaq Fu website where we actually create a website dedicated to planning and destroying every copy of this game? No. You don't want to. You wanted to exist, like with Aki Balion, and you wanted to. With Aki Balion, you know what? I'm, to, to tell the truth, with Aki Balion, I I just want other people to suffer. I, I don't want to be the only one to. Whoa, see that, that was crazy, man. Like, I I I want this this abomination to be to be known. I want the so abomination of Aki Balion to be known. So other the time is nine fifty nine a.m. So we got we have to wait for a stick for a mallet. Oh, shit. Uh, we have to go down there and find the keys for the car. But first, the doorbell rang. Which is a great thing. When the doorbell rings, then pretty much you could do everything and not have to wait. Bored. Actually, no. This was pretty awesome back in 1992. The Super Nintendo was just new. And then we get prepaid. What? Did, did the Dark World sell Mike, Bil Mike, Mike Dawson a dildo? Big one, Dildo, did they sell him one? I don't know. That wasn't funny. We needed serious music in order to... We needed serious music in order to... What show a terrible night to have a curse. To get a mallet stick. You know, Mike Dawson, I seriously doubt that. Ugh. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yeah, yet? okay. We, came, we pick up the loose rock. 
and you see a set of keys, and you pick up the set of keys, and you know what those keys are for. So what is Freddie Mercury going to use these keys on? Uh, he could use them on his ass, but that that's not going to work. Also, uh, he's going to use them on a car. Also... Okay, I doubt you know who Freddie Mercury is. No, the fact no, no. Is like... Also, by the way, you cannot, after this point, yeah, you can... You, I doubt, know who Freddie Mercury is. By the way, the fact there's a plot just... hole here. What you said is actually perfect. I know. Actually, here. Actually, there's a, there's a plot hole here. After this point, like when you get that mallet stick, there's always a cop waiting for you outside. So you cannot go outside or else you'll get taken to jail. Except this time, I don't think you'll be able to uh, get your stuff back. And also, um, why isn't there a guy waiting outside his, uh, ha like, this house? Because if the dark world is a mere reflection of the light world, then why isn't there also a cop waiting outside? Well, maybe it's just that the cop doesn't. Yeah. In this reflection, the cop doesn't go to his, work, his house. Actually, That's a reflection. Actually, if, we, if you were to take, like, oh, by the way, they're the ancients. Look at them. Oh god. Derp. <laughs> the, oh I, my god, it's Krang! <laughs> Krang was behind this all along. Bum bum. So you put the ninja turtles. So you put the So you put the stone in the brain and that makes it glow. But wait, you get a hammer that's warm to the touch and has electricity. So guess who Mike Dawson became? Verily. No, Mike Dawson. Thor. He became Thor! Verily, he doth be Cross Thor. the strange and un- He is rather Thor. Cross the strange and, pr and unoccupied road to the craft be- You are really close To the craft be Victorian house. You'll behold in breathless this wonder guy. the stupid one, Mike Dawson! So you're gonna go back and then you're gonna start the car. You can't go outside or else, uh... You know what, fuck it. Inhumanoids! Inhumanoids! The evil that lies within! Shut up, this is... Down in the fire shut up, the only... of the earth where nightmares begin! Okay, shut up, shut up! <laughs> inhumanoids! I had to do your Inhumanoids crap, now you're doing this crap. I know. Okay, and wanna hear the message? Crap. Check out the message here. Then, so smash the fucking mirror. So let- but how- you can die. You can actually physically die in the dark world. So I guess it's real enough to actually hurt you. So you want- you ready to climb down the Gargadoyle again? Here I go. Someone please kill him. Here we go. Wee! <laughs> okay, so then we go back to the garage. And you- you want to know what we're going to do in order to make the car start up? We're gonna put scotch in it. Why? <laughs> Cause that opens- Cause scotch solves all your problems, just <laughs> ask Tony Stark. The battery still works! Put the keys in the car. The battery still works! Get down to your jams from the dark world. This does not sound like a car. It sounds like pain. Well, we're gonna get out of there. Sweet, merciful Primus, that was painful. So, we can't go outside or else the cop is gonna bust our ass. Aren't we already outside? No, we can't go to- sorry, we can't go to the front yard or else the cop's gonna bust our ass. So that's what you need the rope for. What the cop just noticed him climbing Fragile. Down? I just noticed that on the crate. What does fragile mean? Mm. I don't know, the guy you say might... You're fuck. fucking idiot. No, you, the guy you, you say... fucking kid. I haven't even seen A Christmas Story, and I know that reference. Fragile. Oh, sorry, no, I just forgot about the... Yeah, no, joke. It contains the Christmas Story lamp. Yeah, the lamp. Yes. I have the feeling that Mike Dawson is actually one of those kids just grown up. I, th I think it's probably... He's probably Chunk from the... From freaking Goonies. Goonies, you think Chunk grew up to be Mike Dawson? Do the Truffle Shuffle! <laughs> okay, so you go into the spaceship, and you defeat the Ancients in one of the most ridiculous ways ever. There's their spaceship, where they landed. Do you press the button? No, no, you don't push! You press the lever, which makes it go away, and you have to wear gloves. And... It doesn't exactly end, but... Yep! 
Hey guys, maybe we shouldn't have just put a lever that could easily foil our plans right out in the open. Yeah, this button, it says... Uh, what's this button do? It says, so God sakes! Destroy. If Dee had gloves on, she could have saved the day. Mike Dawson. Ooh, what does this button do? Ooh, and then uh, the agents go away. However, he does one thing he should have done a million times ago. He had to get rid of the fetus. Be well, there's, this is one thing I don't understand. He breaks the mirror. Thank you. Guess My God, it's like the Boogeyman movie. I guess what? We're one. gonna get a visit from a friend. It doesn't phase me anymore, but the way when she talks, it's just ah. <laughs> And that will kill the embryo. I'm just beginning to understand. Also, a lot of people don't understand the ending, do the keeper of the scrolls in the dark world was the librarian in the light world. That's why she changed. Why doesn't anybody understand that ending? And also, why did you need to to like make the spaceship go away? The the pills are gonna kill the embryo. Pills here. And all you pills. And all you have to do is break Rabbit the mirror. Pills. All you have to do is break the mirror. Why did you need pills here? Why did you need the spaceship to go away? Rabbit pills. So what do you think of this game? I'm going to strangle you now. Ah! You ready for the sequel? Mm. <laughs> you ready for the sequel? The sequel is actually more laughably bad. So you ready for the sequel now? No. Maybe next time.